This is hydrogen tap. You're looking at the focus cell that I've been improving the top of it. I'm going to let you see this and then we're going <clears throat> out to the Honda and take a look at the installation to show you how it's coming along. I'm going to show you some of the improvements that I've been working on the cell. You'll notice a couple of changes immediately. One is I only have one port here. There will be another port here because the focus cell is going to be working on a air through system which means the hydrogen will be coming out through here being sucked through from the engine there'll be another port over here which will allow the air from the outside to go through so you'll have a flow through which will pick up the hydrogen these are the two electrodes and this is an undecided. We're taking a preview look at here the focus cell that I've come down to. It's changed quite a lot since the initial Aaron cell stage. You can see on the top here's the cutout the way it works. It's about 14 stainless steel between each of these plates. This plate right here is one of the electrode plates that carry the current. This plate on this side is the other one which, you, which goes to the back. So all these go to this one electrode all these plates that you're seeing in the center here are neutral. So you can see the electrode versus neutral. So what you're looking at here is an electrode, two neutrals, and another electrode all the way down the line. And you can see how it comes up to the top. This is my test rig for the lab. And this curve here brings us back to the top. Straight out, it's very hardy. The whole cell is very, very sturdy, and there's a few more improvements I'm going to be making after the test in the Honda is finished. This will give you some idea of the way the electrode plate is configured. There's your strap going up to the top. This is the other plates that connect to the electro plates. And the neutral plate is simply cut off here on the top. Basic cell design in the tube. And you can see the two ports here. These are for water cooling. I will not be using this in the Honda right now, but it, they're there. There are no other ports on the tube itself. You can see the straps in the way they sit on feet here, which eventually I'll be having springs on the bottom here to absorb the shock. The way the Honda, the way the cell is configured in the Honda, 
the cell is bigger than this, it's longer than this, and part of that tube which I'm going to show you is clear. I have a strap on this leg right here that straps it to the bottom of the Honda, and I have two on the top that are going to the top straps. Good view of the inside. We'll go out to the Honda now and I'll show you how that looks. We'll take a look inside here. See what you're looking at here. Boy, it's cold out here, it's keeping me from working. Hopefully in two more days it's going to hit 70 and I'll be able to do more work. There's the cell and I'll show you how that's installed. Get a basic overview of it here. This is the test rig that I've made for the Honda. It's clear and when the cell's in it you'll be able to see it running. It's just for test. I'll show you how I've got it strapped in here. Here's a good view of the port that's taking the hydrogen. So I've got a port built onto here so now the air goes across it and sucks the hydrogen through it. So this is the intake valve that's going to the air filter, so instead of going under the filter, I'm going on top of it. You can see that basically the air goes through this way, sucks the hydrogen through it. See the strap there. We've got two basic straps. This one leading to the so we've got it coming from here, strapped to the compartment there. And if you look on the other side, you see another strap here. It goes down. It holds it pretty tight and I'll show you the other strap. Looking at the very bottom you can see the strap that comes in on the foot and it's strapped to the side. So I've got three straps on this and actually what I want to do is there's one more which is here and I'm going to strap it to the other side of the engine compartment. In the lab now, one of, getting a lot of uh, energetic email about the focus cell, and uh, rightly so, I believe. I should be having that in the Honda for the next few days. If you want to write me at John Aaron's at hydrogentap.com, I'm always glad to get your email. The site hydrogentap.com is being reinvented to accommodate the focus cell. And what that means exactly is that from now on I'll be only featuring one cell and that's the focus. That way I can get start getting everything tooled for it and I won't have to and make every part. And that's good news and bad news. Of course it costs more money when you have somebody else doing it, but it also means I'll be able to have more standard of product and I think you're going to see the difference.